Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna talk about how to become a systems engineer. You may wanna become a systems engineer. We're gonna talk about how you do it and what you do. My name is Emilio and I work in IT and we're gonna go over what to do to become a systems engineer. So if you're watching this video, you're probably in the IT field or wanting to get into the IT field with a goal of becoming a systems engineer. You could also be looking at becoming a systems admin or an engineer. They're both interchangeable. Sometimes an admin can be slightly different to what an engineer does, but we're gonna just focus on the general admin slash engineer type of a role. If you don't have any exposure to IT just yet or you're not working in the IT industry, you could be perhaps studying the first thing that I normally recommend people is to get into some sort of a help desk role. Help desk, uh, which is just really your level one in IT, will give you a good overview of the different systems in IT, the different sorts of um, processes around you know, logging tickets, about how to go into, you know, perhaps into Active Directory to sort of play around with password resets, doing basic phone support, basic walk-ups to people's desks, to try to fix up their computer problems. Um, so starting off with help desk and then moving up towards that system engineer is that first step that I'd normally go for. From your help desk role, you would generally then jump into like a desktop support or a support analyst or, or, or you know a level two. So many companies may go by different names, but essentially it's a level up from help desk. You may not be on the phone as much, or you could be an escalation point from help desk people to a desktop support analyst type of a role. So this is the person that will generally go and work on more complex issues, uh, issues that a help desk person may not be able to solve. Um, a desktop person or a, or a support analyst could also have now involvement within some sort of uh, service space, whether if it's dealing with servers directly, maybe going and setting up different permissions on a server, logging into a server and doing basic IT support and basic troubleshooting. These are the steps that you'll need to sort of master before you can go up to that systems engineer role. So mastering anything that's in help desk and anything that is done within a desktop support sort of role, you should be fairly, fairly comfortable and confident with to move up to that next level. A system engineer should have a good understanding of various technologies and different software platforms. A system engineer should know things about the Microsoft fleet, you know, working with Windows Server. They should know about Active Directory. They should understand about domain controllers and DHCP and DNS. If any of those terms were foreign to you, you should go and research them, play with them and understand what they are and what they do to be able to become a systems engineer. You should be also good at things like perhaps storage and have, have some sort of an influence or, or your hands in um, storage environments. So we're talking about SAN and NAS, like storage units, arrays, configuring different types of RAID groups. Again, these are the sort of things that systems engineers will do but you having a good enough understanding of what these technologies are will put you in that right position to move up to that next level. Building a lab at home. This is something that I would strongly, strongly recommend you to do if you do want to move to that next step. What you'll find is in a lot of companies, if you're working on say a help desk or a desktop support type of a role, it's very rare sometimes that management, say an IT manager, will give you responsibilities that are above your level of expertise. So really, for a lot of people, the best way that they can learn is to learn at home. To build a lab, um, you know, to build perhaps a server at home using a normal computer, install some Windows Server software and go and configure different types of server and infrastructure sorts of technologies. You could also perhaps ask your, your management team, your, your support lead or your, or your team leader or your IT manager, can I set up a lab in the office? You know, some companies could have a spare server or some spare equipment that you could potentially leverage off and train yourself up while you're at work. You need to have that ambition to learn. Unless you have that ambition to learn, you're not gonna to move to that next step of becoming a systems engineer. Let your, let your um, IT management know that you are keen to move into this sort of a position. Don't let them assume that that's where you want to go. 
tell them, look, I want to become a systems engineer in six months, in 12 months, in two years, three years, whatever it may be, but let them know so that they are then across it, they know and they can start hopefully putting you in positions where you can expand in your skill set. So letting them know and you making an effort is the next step that you will need. Go on some training courses and get certified. So you may already have some sort of further education. You may have already done a university degree or have gone to TAFE or college and gotten a further degree within your IT field. But getting some further training or development in, 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 um, in IT is the next step that you'll need to move up in your career. Certain companies will pay you to go and do training. If you're not, de- if you're not dealing with, say, your your virtualization environment, you know, tools like VMware or Citrix, but you know them, you know, you, you know that your current, perhaps your current system admins and engineers that you work with deal with this stuff all the time and you want to understand how they do it, but your company doesn't give you access to that. Perhaps ask, look, can I go on training? I'd like to become a systems engineer. So I'd love to be sent on training to learn how this technology works. Some companies will be generous enough to be able to send you on that. If they're not, perhaps look at investing in training yourself up and and perhaps paying for that course uh, so that you have the skill set to be able to say, look, I want to become a systems engineer and these are the skills that I already know. I've done the training um, and this is where I want to head. Getting certified is the next step after your training. So it's good to know the technologies, but getting a certificate that actually says, yep, I've done it, I've studied it, and I've gone and I've passed the exam will almost guarantee you better positions if it's not in your company in another company working towards a systems engineer the more the more training the more certification you have on your career on your cv on your resume the better chances you will have so in summary my biggest tip is that you need to have an ambition and a willing to learn and willingness to learn if you don't have that willingness to learn and you don't want to um, put the extra hours in and perhaps you know sacrificing certain time perhaps at home with family and friends to actually learn and develop in your skill, it is going to be difficult for you to move into that next level. So have that willingness to learn, have that eagerness to learn and let your management know that you also want to do it and hopefully all those you know all those tips that, that we've talked about today will help you move into that next position. So if any of these things were helpful to you, I'd love it if you told me. Comment down below, let me know how you're doing in your career. Perhaps you're moving towards that position. Perhaps you've already moved into that, into that position and you have some other tips that you can contribute. I'd love to hear what you have to say and we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.